Women's Suffrage Assignment In the early 1900s, many Texas women wanted the right to vote. Opposition was strong. Some argued that women did not need to vote because men protected their rights. Others said that women should ne would neglect their homes and children for politics. Suffragists said that women voters could be more effective caregivers. They could vote for better schools and public health and more playgrounds. From 1915 to 1918, suffragists wrote letters, signed petitions, and lobbied state legislators. Governor James Ferguson opposed them. In 1917, Ferguson was forced from office for unrelated reasons, and the new governor, William P. Hobby, sympathized with the suffragists. In 1918, they made a deal. If Hobby signed a bill letting women vote in primary elections, they would vote for him. Hobby agreed, and the suffragists' votes helped him win the primary. Question 1. Circle the two arguments for women's suffrage. Number 2. Why did some people oppose suffrage for women? Now remember, suffrage means voting. The fight for the vote in the United States. Inspired by the British suffragettes, the National American Women's Suffrage Association, the NAWSA party, organized mass demonstrations, parades, and confrontations with the police. It was the first group to picket the White House. Hundreds of women were arrested and jailed for their protests. Following the example of their British counterparts, many went on hunger strikes in jail, and they were force-fed. Number three, which of these tactics used by the NAWSA do you think was most effective? Why? This is an opinion question, so there's no wrong answer. Women earned the vote. World War I and the major role that women played in it broke down most of the remaining opposition to women's suffrage in the United States. Women around the country began to take over roles and jobs left behind by the men at war and showed their ability to do the exact same work as the men. On August 26, 1920, Congress approved the 19th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States, stating women in the United States were enfranchised, or given the right to vote, on an equal basis with men. The Visual Analysis This is a political cartoon that was released in the early 1900s. The title is Origin and Development of a Suffragette. The first square says, at 15, a little pet. The next one says, at 20, a little croquette. The third one says, at 40, not married yet. And the last one says, at 50, a suffragette. The first question is, is this political cartoon for or against women's suffrage? How do you know? The second question says, what do you think is the creator's message?